weeks. Ralph Peters is a Fox News strategic analyst who during his long career has interacted directly with NSA personnel. Ralph, great to see you. Allison, great to see you. Uh, okay, Always great to see you. You too, but this was a bombshell last night from the national, the head of the National Counterterrorism Center who told the Intelligence Committee last night that they're no longer picking up chatter from al-Qaeda. And he blames the NSA leaks. In other words, al-Qaeda has been alerted to the methods that ter counterterrorism officials have been using. What do you make of this? Well, you know, Edward Snowden's self-righteous leaks have done tremendous harm, harming hundreds of billions of dollars worth of black programs and other programs. They've done no good for anybody whatsoever. And for NSA or anyone affiliated with the intelligence community to admit that it's done this much damage is a big deal because we tend to be mum because we don't want to confirm anything. We don't want to make it worse by confirming that al-Qaeda is getting away with murder again. But, I, but it's no, it, within the community, it's no secret that the rats have gone ever deeper underground because Ed Snowden compromised sources' methods, how we go after them, what we can listen to, what we can find, what we can analyze. It's done tremendous harm, not just to NSA, but to our security. And Allison, if I may say so, you know, so many commentators I've heard railing about NSA never worked with those people, know nothing about it. The people at NSA who work at NSA every day not only have a higher average IQ than you'll find on the Harvard campus, but they are dedicated patriots. Dedicated patriots. And I cannot say the same about the people in the media or, for that matter, on Capitol Hill who are opportunistically attacking them. But, Ralph, don't you think there is a legitimate argument to be made here that we need to somehow balance our need for national security and not wanting to be the victims of some terrorist attack also with our deep desire for privacy and not wanting to be swept up in a big net? Of course. And we are balancing that. The Senate and, and the House Oversight Committees, really, you know, everything the NSA does was approved in advance, briefed and approved by members of Congress. There is tremendous oversight. And yet you've got members of Congress who are utterly dishonest, saying, oh, I am shocked that the NSA is actually doing the things we approved. Then you've got madcap talk show hosts who know nothing about the subject, saying, NSA is watching you fornicate. Well, Google might be. But NSA isn't. These people are, we have to have high-tech weapons if we're going to fight the high-tech capabilities of our enemies. And Allison, here's the bottom line. 110 million Americans may have been affected negatively by the target data breach, the credit card breaches. Mm -hmm. Name one. Can anyone name one American citizen who is tangibly harmed by a single NSA program. Nobody on the Hill or in the media can give me a single name. Hmm. Ralph, uh, back to Al-Qaeda for a second. If they have changed their tactics and they're no longer using their cell phones and the internet and they've dropped off the radar, as the counterterrorism officials say, what are they doing? Well, the problem is we don't know because they have dropped off. Um, suddenly there are, there are blank spaces on the maps where before the Snowden res, rev, uh, revelations, we were plotting the terrorists in their locations and dealing with them. Now, in one sense, it's going to slow them down because they're probably relying much more on couriers and complex routing. Um, but it definitely is harder to safeguard Americans. I mean, there, it's just, Allison, I mean, I worked in that world. I, I paid my dues in that world, and I will tell you, none of Ed Snowden's revelations have helped a single American, law-abiding American, and they certainly haven't kept us safer. If you want to worry about privacy, you worry about Google, huh. you worry about Facebook, you worry about Twitter, you worry even about Amazon, you worry about Target. The NSA people are patriots keeping us safe. Big Tech's view is that it's okay for Big Tech to collect the most intimate details in our lives, but NSA can't use any data to protect Americans. That's you make an interesting shabby. point, Ralph. What do you want to see quickly happen to Ed Snowden? It, it is unprintable and it would be medieval, but no, really what I want Ed Snowden to do is face justice in a court of law in the United States and see what our Constitution and a jury of his peers has to say. Mm -hmm.